What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm excited to share with you this awesome threshold style technique to create some amazing graphics. We're going to be using some curves, we're going to be using some filters, and we're going to be using a little bit of noise. <laughs> I'm super excited to use this awesome photo I picked up over at Envato.com, which has thousands, if not millions, of stock photography images with licenses that you can use professionally, and they have unlimited downloads for only around 16 bucks a month or 200 bucks for the year. Definitely check them out and be sure to use the affiliate link below because if we send them business, they give us a little something something and that helps us keep this channel going. Once you get an image you wanna work with, you're also gonna to wanna to find yourself some texture. I have this crumpled paper that will be in the background and that's gonna give us an additional grunge style effect, which you'll see later on. Go ahead and mask out your image. I already went ahead and did that. And as soon as your image is masked out, make a copy of it by hitting Command J. So now that I have a copy, I'm gonna click on that layer. I'm gonna right click, go down to convert to smart object. Now that mask layer, I'm gonna put at the bottom because we're gonna use that mask later on. Now going back up to that smart object, I'm going to go down to adjustment layers and add a threshold on top. And like that, we have a graphic, but it's hard to read. We're missing the jacket. We're missing details in the teeth. A lot of the braids in the hair are getting too dark. The easy way to fix that is by using some curves. So going to our adjustment layers, I'm going to go to curves. And then on curves, I'm gonna drag the curve down and then I'm gonna hit Command I and invert the mask. I'm gonna hit B and, and painting with white, I'm gonna paint back in those darks so that they show up in our graphic. And I'm gonna paint in the teeth. And then before I start to paint in the whites, I'm gonna go back down to the smart object and we're gonna add a little bit of noise and that's gonna bring back some details. So clicked on the smart object, I'm gonna go up to filter and then I'm gonna go to noise add noise. Let's just see what happens with five actually, if that's too much. Yeah, let's go with five, hit okay. Doing one more curve, so I'm gonna go back to the adjustment layers, add curves, and I'm gonna crank up the whites like that, and then I'm gonna hit Command I, invert that mask, hit B on the keyboard, make sure I'm painting with white, hitting X, and then I'm gonna paint in these highlights. This just gives you a lot more control when you're working in thresholds, with thresholds. And you can go back and forth between your lights and darks. Now we're gonna create another smart object of all of our darks. And the easy way to do that is going to new layer. And then we're gonna go to select, select color range. And then you're gonna to wanna to use the dropper and click on the darkest dark on your image and then hit okay and then go down to your adjustment layer, solid color, making sure that that's on black. And then once it's on black, hit okay. And now on that layer, we're gonna right click, convert to smart object. And now on all these bottom layers that we just used, we're gonna turn that into its own group by hitting, holding down shift and then having all your layers selected, hit command G and then we're just gonna hide that for now. Now, as you can see, our background has come back into play but I want this layer to interact better with the background, so I'm gonna double click, go to layer styles, hold down my option key, and then drag the white arrow to the left until it blends with that background a little better. Now we're gonna take this one step further by clicking on new layer, and we're going to merge our bottom layers by going shift, option, command, E, and then we're gonna right click, convert to smart object, and we're gonna add a little bit more grunge and noise using a filter. So go to filter, filter gallery, and now you can go to graphic pen, and then on graphic pen, we're gonna keep the stroke length to one and the light and dark balance at 100. 
and then hit OK. Now it's pretty strong, so we're gonna reduce the opacity to about 40%. And that's just gonna add a little bit more grungy noise throughout your artwork. Now let's go ahead and paint in some more punk rock style lips by going to solid color and then picking out a really, I don't know, whatever color you wanna use. I'm gonna go with this pink. And then I'm gonna go to darken, but I'm going to invert that mask by hitting Command-I, hitting B on my keyboard, hitting D to paint with white, and I'm just gonna paint in the lip color. And now you can also mess with the opacity until you get something you like. Actually, I'm gonna switch my blending mode to color like that and increase my opacity back to 100. I don't know, looks cool. Now let's go ahead and add some typography. I want some typography looking like it's coming from the back. So I'm gonna to go to new layer. I'm gonna hit Command G to create a group. Then I'm gonna go back down to that mask which we were keeping for later use. I'm gonna hit option and drag that mask up to that group. And then I'm gonna invert that mask by hitting Command I. And then on that newest layer in that group, I'm gonna hit T to bring up my type tool and then we can write whatever we want to go behind her. Then I'm gonna hit Command J and make some copies and have this repeating type graphic going on in the background. Now that type's a little strong, so we're gonna blend that in with the background as well by double clicking on that group, going to layer styles, holding down option, and then we're just going to drag that over so that it blends in so it looks like it's all part of the same artwork and then hit OK. And like that, we have some awesome threshold graphics that you can apply to your graphic design.